Hello everyone. Okay, I think we got it. I think we're doing it. It's kind of fuzzy though, didn't it? Maybe I need to clear it off. There we go. Y'all can see me now. Hey, hello. Let me get some music started for us. Welcome everyone. Sorry about... Sorry about the technical difficulties. Hey, Breezy, let me wave to y'all. Technical difficulties, I couldn't get my phone to rotate. So, hello, everyone. Hello, Jinxie. Thank you for being here. I'm going to try to wave at everyone as you come in. Hello, thank you for being here. Amethyst is here. Welcome, Angelica. Let me pull y'all up on the page and make sure I'm not missing any comments. Hey Kathy, how are you? Thank you for being here today in the Witchy School of Wisdom. And hey Christina, thank y'all for um, being here. Um, we are going to spend a little bit of time in sacred space today. And you're going to actually go with me. Hey, Christy. Blessed Samhain, everyone. So before we get started, let me introduce myself to you. Let me turn this down. There we go. Technical difficulties today. There we go. Is everybody ready for Samhain? Blessed Samhain, everyone. Um, let's try to get some comments going on. So before we get started, Madam Z here with the Witchy School of Wisdom, and I am the head mistress and female empowerment leader and magical mentor of the Witchy School of Wisdom. So I run this crazy place called Witchy School of Wisdom. So today, I hope you guys are celebrating Samhain. It's a Witch's New Year for us, so I'm so excited to go live with you and to share our Blessed Samhain and to share our ritual space with each other. Now, this is my public ritual space. I have a private one that I don't let anybody see, but this is my public one for everybody to bring in positive energy into their life set intentions, and work with the wheel of the year. So let's go ahead and get started. Is any Before I get started, is anybody here actually planning on doing a Samhain ritual? So give me some hearts up if you are planning on doing your own Samhain ritual. And let me try to catch up on the um, comments while you guys are typing. What do you say to an angry witch with it? That's funny. That's funny, Kathy. You're so funny. So before we get started, let's go ahead and yeah, Jinxie has a heart. So yeah, thank you for that. Thank you, thank you. Do you all love my little um headdress? Sacred space headdress. So I talked about just about all week long about what Samhain is and how to celebrate it. And if you joined me live on the Samhain Witches Sabbath collab and you grabbed my altar set up PDF, you should have received another email today um, with the freebie in there. And you should have started at least setting up and getting tuned into the energy of the thing of the veil and calling in your ancestors. Okay. So today we're going to activate our public ritual space for Samhain. You can follow me or you can start activating your own ritual space and your own altar with me in your own way. Or you can just participate by watching. Um, and let's see the comments. Happy Samhain, Christina. Perfect. So let's go ahead and get started and let me flip this around for you guys. 
I'm going to do a short activation, a little bit of a meditation, and a little bit of calling in our ancestors and calling in the dark goddess and the wise ones. So let me go ahead and flip this around and see if this can work. I am so, this is brand new to me, so let's go ahead and see if this works. Sorry, y'all. Did it work? Perfect. All right, so let's go ahead and look at what our altar has on it before we get started. So, if you took my altar class or you are interested in setting up an altar, then you should know what some of these altar items are. So let's back up a little bit and look at the altar space as a whole before we start. So this is our altar space as a whole. And I will go one by one by each item and we will talk about what each item is. Sorry for the wobbly wobbliness. So we have our black obsidian scrying ball. Everything on the altar needs to be dark colors, dark gemstones, rubies, dark reds, blacks, um, what other ones do I use? Dark greens, and I put some white in here just to balance it out. Dark purples, any of your deep dark colors is what you're going to be using. Now, this is my scrying ball that I got from New Mexico. And it's a golden scrying ball, so I always put that on there to do some scrying and divination. And we have the third, well, the hand, right, in the middle of it, has the eye, so we are opening our intuition through re receiving. And then we have flowers that we are adorning and decorating our altar space with. We have our sacred bell. We have our sacred cauldron, which represents the goddess and the womb and receiving. We have a perfume bottle that represents receiving also, and it um, just decorates the altar. Here are some more flowers. I don't know if you can see it right here. I'll re remove this for you. That is a beautiful altar plate with a receiving vessel this is where i put the sacred water, moon water in and the salt and this is another scrying ball that i use it's a smaller one and i use this to put on my reading table when i read for clients and in the back we have our dark black candle we have our skull candles Another jet, we have a dark amethyst with an amethyst point. Another skull candle, right here. And we have a white candle with the pentacle. And this is a clear quartz skull. Another candle, skull candle. This is a black obsidian arrowhead. This is the goddess Nyx, if you can see her. I love her. And this is my beautiful Hecate statue. This is the crone energy that we are going to be bringing in. And on top of it has a black candle and my Hecate goddess rosary beads that I made to bring her in. So we are working with the wise wisdom crone energy during our ritual and as you know if you guys need uh, the keeper of the keys or you worship and connect with Hecate you will know what these keys represent and you will know what the colors represent also now in the front of our altar we have our sacred goddess candles which are going to be red this is our coven candle our circle candle and this is going to unite all of us together. And this is another one on that flanks the other candle in the middle, the central candle. And we are working with the death energy today, which is the transformation and transition energy. 
We are letting go of things that no longer serve us during this time. And I forgot to show you all this. My smoky quartz point. And then we are going to be working with our Hecate goddess, which is working the in-between magic between this world and the spirit world. So she walks in between. And we are working with Persephone, which is cycles of your life. Okay. On this part of the altar, we have some more flowers. We have my sacred container of moon water. We have a crystal ball. We have our ruby red goblet. And then to honor Persephone and the energy of death and rebirth. Uh oh. We have pomegranates and pomegranate seeds. And on top of that, it is placed on top of my plate, my offering plate, okay? So give me some hearts up, some thumbs up if you guys can hear me and see me, because I don't want to go any farther if we have to restart it. Okay, good, you guys are good. Yay. So this is our altar, and we're going to start and we're going to meditate a little bit and we're going to activate the things that we need to do to get this altar energy going and to light the way between the, the worlds. So we are working in sacred space. We are working between this world and the spirit world. We keep one foot in this world grounded and the other foot in the spirit world as we connect. Okay. So I want you to take a couple deep breaths and close your eyes as we concentrate on the statue in front of us, which is Hecate or Hecate, however you want to pronounce that. We take a couple deep breaths. We are centering ourselves. And with every deep breath that we take, we enter the cave of the underworld. The darkness of the veil that separates us between the worlds. We work now in the light. And as we say goodbye to the light, we welcome the dark energies that will engulf us with our cool sensation. As we work between the worlds of the living and the dead. As we seek the wisdom of the old wise crone mother, we settle down by the hearth fire that warms our feet as we welcome in the energies of the cycles of the wheel of the year, Samhain. Take a couple more deep breaths as we get settled in, as we're sitting close to the goddess, to the old crone wise woman, as we connect with energies of our ancestors, as we open the door for them to come through, to receive messages, to commune, to share sacred space with, to share a meal with. And when you are ready, you may open your eyes. And let us start the ritual. I clear this energy of negative thoughts, negative patterns, and negative things that keep us attached to things that we no longer need during the sacred time. During the dark energies, we cut the ties that bind us so we may soar freely and high and mighty and strong like our ancestors.
I cut the energies between the veil to open up a doorway between this world and the world of the spirits. And we will now light our sacred candles. Welcome, Goddess Hecate, Dark Goddesses, Persephone, and we welcome the transformation and transition in our world of death. We are now flanked in sacred space between the energies of the old us and the new us as we let go of things that no longer serve us, as we embody the elements of earth, air, fire, water of the goddess Hecate, of the goddess Persephone, and of the wise ones and the wise crones that have gone before us. We welcome them to our space. We welcome them to sacred space. And now I will light the central candle that keeps us together in sacred space. This is the light that will keep us together, that will be a central focal point for us to be united in the dark energies. If we lose our way tonight, as we walk side by side with our ancestors and side by side with our spirits, our spirits guides, our goddesses, we may go a little too deep into the underworld. If you feel lost, if you feel scared, if you feel like you want to come back to this land and this energy, follow this light. This light will lead you home to the present, to the now. So mote it be. And now we will light the candle of Hecate Persephone and our death energy card, our transformation and transition card, the dark goddesses and the crone. As we welcome her into our space tonight, our reverend goddess, as we seek wisdom for what we need to know for the new year, it is the witch's new year. We soar tonight. We fly tonight. We seek answers tonight of what's going to bring us for our next year. We do our works tonight, our divination tonight, our sacred rite tonight. I want everybody to take a deep breath before we start our little chant to welcome in Samhain, our new year, the witch's new year of setting intentions for the next year. What are we going to bring to fruition our next year? What do we need to watch out 
for for next year? What do we need to focus on and look forward to for the next year? These are the answers we seek from our wise women, from the wise ones, from the crones, from our goddesses. These are the answers and the questions that we ask and receive. Let the sacred fires burn bright. Let the spirits rise and the moon make her magic. Behold the shadows as they dance while the cold wind whispers its ancient signs and symbols. Cast the circle and read the signs. Magic is afoot in the witching hour. Let the love of the old ones light the way. May the wisdom of the ages through candle glow and magic mirrors be revealed and as it is willed so mote it be and now we will talk with the old wise ones this is the season of the crone the wise ones as we sit by her by the hearthstone that warms our feet, that warms the air around us in this dark, damp, cold night, we ask for her and invoke for her to come into our sacred space and share with us her wisdom. I want you to picture Anybody that you are connected with as a crone energy, maybe your mother, your grandmother, your great grandmother, your great aunt, we call them into you as we honor them during the sacred night. Crone of winters, spellbound cold, in her cauldron of black are told. Secrets ancient, truths and tales. Mystery her light unveils. She is wisdom. She is changes. Time and space she rearranges. In her hands the card of death for transformation is her breath. Crone of winter, grandmother wise, look into her gargoyle eyes. Let her lesson teach you well. Life is but a magical spell. I want you to sit a little bit with your sacred crone wise woman that you have chose and receive any symbols, messages, feelings, scents, tastes, or smells as she shares with you wisdom. Take a couple minutes. Shall we turn like a drop of rain flowing through the ocean? What messages is she trying to give you? Oh. Is Persephone trying to come through? Is Hecate, Callie, Morgan? Come to me. If you do any kind of divination in the flame, what do you see in the flame, my sisters? Hecate, come to us.
If you do any candle wax divination, now is the time to do that. If you need to learn wax divination, I love this one. Up. Come to us. I'm going to the gazing ball now, and if you do an E gazing ball work, let's look into it and see if you can see any messages from the crone. Sorry about the glare. And now our ritual and altar space is activated with the crone energies, with the energies of the wise old woman of the death and transformation of Persephone and Ab Hecate. We welcome them into our sacred space. We call in our ancestors to work with us during this time. We ask for wisdom. We ask for answers. We ask for any signs in wisdom that they want to share with us. And now the altar is sealed in sacred space during this Samhain hollowed Sabbath. So mote it be. Okay, everyone, we are in sacred space and I will stand in front of the Hecate goddess statue with you. So does anybody want to share anything that they received? Popped in to say I have to run out and trick or treat. Oh, thank you for popping in and spending time with us. I'm catching up on comments. Hello, Latanya. Thank you for sharing and being here with us. Okay, so I am going to sign off. I have some divination work I need to do, and I need to do some setting of intentions for 2020. So if you have any questions and you need some guidance, please contact me and reach out to me. And happy Samhain, blessed Samhain, everyone, and let's work some magic tonight. Ah, thanks, Mariah. Um, go ahead and catch the replay for us. All right, my sisters, happy Samhain, and we will see you in the Facebook group. Bye.